Hi, I'm Johnny with JFP Solutions. Today I want to demonstrate to you how the hub saver works. Everybody's been asking. Okay, this here is a hub which you see on a large camper, your large utility trailers, or your car haulers. It's a, it's a set that goes for a six, seven, eight thousand, nine thousand pound axle. Okay, you're going down the road, all of a sudden this part of your bearing, which is the outer portion, starts disintegrating. You lose everything. Or what happens, your wheel starts moving around. Next thing you know, your hub comes off. Once your wheel and your tire goes down the road, it could hit someone's car or damage someone's property, or it could take somebody's life. Okay, this is what, what you do. You take, remove this nut. Let me take this nut off and this compression washer, and I'll show you how the hub saver works. Okay, I'm putting it back on with the same part of the damaged bearing. Install the hub saver, put your compression nut on, which is the way it would be when it was put together. Okay, you tighten, you've got your nut tight. Okay, you're going down the road, your bearing disintegrates. What happens, your wheel continues to spin. It keeps the bearing wheel hub spinning on the back bearing. Okay, what it does, it'll let it float around just enough to where it keeps the heat off of it. So you have time to get to a safe location and make repairs. Now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install. Let's see, let's just remove all this. All right. okay. This is the part of the bearing that's going to be left on your shaft or your spindle. Okay. Install this. Okay. Have your bearing in place. Take the hub saver. The hub saver has these holes in it, which they're designed to get plenty of grease to your bearing. You can put it, install it in, put your compression washer, install your nut, you put your cotter key. If your nut, if your nut falls off, the hub saver will not prevent you from losing your wheel from the improper installation of your nut. Okay, got your nut on, got your cotter key in place. Now, wheel spins. If you run a bearing buddy, you can get plenty of grease to the bearing, or without it, if you pack the bearing like you normally do, put the hub saver in, you can pack the inside of the cup, it'll still supply the bearing with plenty of grease. Okay, we offer three different sizes. We offer them for the large axles, small axles, and the medium size axles. This is going to be a game changer for highway safety. So if you don't have any, you need to go ahead and order some. Thank you. Have a good day.